Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an RGB stretch transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. So let's get started. All right, as you can see on the timeline, I have got two different video clips. First of all, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Next, click on OK. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place it on top of the two video clips. After that, move the time indicator to the middle position between the two clips, because this will be the center point of the transition. Now we have to cut this adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. In this case, I'm going to use 10 frames on both sides. So, let's hold the shift key from the keyboard, and then hit the right arrow key twice to skip 10 frames. Now we can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and cut the adjustment layer to this position. Next, move the time indicator 20 frames backward. Again, let's switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and cut the adjustment layer to this position. After that, let's remove the extra parts of the adjustment layer. All right, the adjustment layer is ready. Next, move over to the effects panel to add an effect. This is a crop effect. Let's drag and drop the crop effect onto the adjustment layer. In the next step, let's move over to the Effect Controls panel to customize the crop effect. Now, we have to create some keyframes for the left parameter and the right parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. And then, move these two keyframes to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Next, let's create other keyframes for the left parameter and the right parameter with the value 0. After that, move these two keyframes to the end position of the adjustment layer. Now, we have to move the time indicator to the middle position of the adjustment layer. And then, let's make the left parameter value around 49%. Next, let's make the right parameter value around 50%. Now you can see the changes on the program monitor. After that, we have to enable the zoom parameter by clicking on this box. Let's see how it looks now. It looks great. With these couple of steps, we have created this simple stretch transition. Now, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an alpha adjust effect. Alpha Adjust Effect allows you to control the transparency of video clips or images within your project. In the next step, let's move over to the Effect Controls panel to customize the Alpha Adjust Effect. Now, we have to enable the Ignore Alpha parameter by clicking on this box. In the next step, we have to add an RGB effect to the transition. That's why, move over to the Effects panel to apply a VR Chromatic Aberrations effect. Next, let's drag and drop the VR Chromatic Aberrations effect onto the Adjustment layer. And then, Let's go to the Effect Controls panel to customize the VR Chromatic Aberrations effect. Now, we have to create some keyframes for the Aberration Red, Green, and Blue parameters by clicking on this stopwatch icon. And then, move these three keyframes to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Next, let's create other keyframes for the Aberration Red, Green, and Blue parameters with the default values. And then, move these three keyframes to the end position of the adjustment layer. After that, we have to move the time indicator to the middle position of the adjustment layer. Next, let's make the aberration red parameter value around negative 25.8. And then, we have to make the aberration green parameter value around 41. After that, we have to make the aberration blue parameter value around 19. And lastly, we have to make the falloff distance parameter value around 35. All right, now we are done. The RGB stretch transition creation is complete. It looks great. In this way, you can create an RGB stretch transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro.